what's up Scorpio you guys know I'm never up this early recording and here I am <laughs> having my breakfast and my coffee with you I'm not even getting my morning workout routine <laughs> started which hopefully the plan is get the videos done and get outside while it's still a little cool and then get to my personals I have a couple to get done but um the messages I got woken up literally at like four something this morning couldn't really go back to sleep um need to get out all right so if you like it here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment share show your love and support as always please keep it positive if you would like a personal reading i am only doing personals today and tomorrow i only have two right now so and those will be done this morning um yeah get at me i'm available the next two days so um with that being said, Scorpio, um, also if you would like to make a donation, these are free readings. Any donations are much appreciated. Many of you guys know I've been out of work since May, so that's kind of a long haul here that we've been going without, uh, you know, work. And, um, you know, I've just been showing up on YouTube when I'm feeling good, right? So on my weeks off of chemo, I'm here more obviously, right? I can do a little more, um, but I'm going through chemotherapy, so I've been out of work. It's been challenging. We've been beating those challenges, though. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, Scorpio family tribe for everybody that's donated. It's just a big, huge shout out how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, the, you know, it has not been um, an easy or cheap journey, right? So it's just kind of like uh, I love and appreciate every single one of you so, so much. Um, if you would like to donate, anything would be appreciated. We are still without transportation. Um, and we found a car, it's only, that's actually only 500 bucks. So it's just the actual getting it. Um, so anything helps us right now, donation wise, we're just trying to make it to, to doctor's appointments, to school and, and all the things that we need. Um, so if you would like to help donate, I do have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. Um, Ubering is super expensive, y'all, <laughs> especially if you gotta do it like, you know, all day long, every day, so. Uh, you know, I'm having to be smart about trips and all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just one day at a time. <laughs> I'm looking at the one day card. Spirit's saying one day at a time. And that's how I've been taking it. Just one day at a time when it's the money will come, when the money will come, right? When we're supposed to get it. We're very appreciative for anybody that's donated. I love you guys so, so much. Um, let's get into it. All right. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, and I'm not racist, so please don't take this rate like as a racist comment. We've just got Asia, so somebody could have like be Asian or um, a Asian descent here coming out in the reading for some reason of significance for you, Scorpio. Whether they're in your energy, around your energy, about your energy, um, there's somebody going into hiding. There's a male and female energy here that have been hiding on a farm. And persecution or hiding from going to jail because the farm could be like you know the farm prison persecution prison persecuted hiding from being persecuted we've got the moon here things coming to light here um someone didn't get the message here all right we've also got a sexual situation that's somehow connected to all of this and you what the F is going on is all I got to say, right? I got woke up at four o'clock in the morning. So let's go. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides. And then we've got the twins here. Um, this is in a deck that I'm not even using. This was just falling out. So we could have a twin flame situation. Um, the number 12 could be significant about a situation or wisdom about a situation, okay? wisdom about even learning who your twin might be or there's just wisdom about a, a situation we've got giving and receiving I balance both being uh, generous and receptive because both are equally important Scorpio so uh, there's a lot of balance that has to be I feel like you know with the giving and receiving energy in your life it just needs to be equal however that resonates for you right now uh, spirit wants you to pay attention and you know if, if, if you're on the receiving end give back if you're on the giving end you know what i mean it's like you know put yourself in a position where you are in a situation where there's equal give and take 
um, you know, not maybe just sexual desire here because we do have the Ace of Wands, which does represent typically that sexual desire energy, right? Mm, somebody's not getting the message here though, um, but you are uh, dealing with a situation with grace. I'm filled with the same beauty and poise, divine perfection of all of other, uh, as all of God's other creations. It's too early, y'all. Anyway, um, I feel like you're being given divine grace. You're dealing with a situation with grace. We've got family here in a situation. This is, can, could be connected to family. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answers, support, and healing here in a situation, okay, in, in regards to family. Ooh, okay. Let's see, what other messages do we have coming out for Scorpio? Spend a lot of time in prayer and meditation right now. I just saw the prayer feather card. You don't have to be Native American for these messages to resonate with you. Um, Some of you here, we've got the circle of life and answer the calling. There's something that you are put here on this planet, this earth to do, right? Like many of us, or you could be a healer, something of that nature, right? Um, so Scorpio, whatever this is, Spirit is saying, it's time for you to answer the calling, whatever it is, this is, it's, it's, it's coming around, right? The circle of life, like this is, this is why you are here, right? There's something that you were meant to do, meant to accomplish, meant to be someone, you know, take it however it resonates. That's showing up in your energy. We've definitely had a tricky energy around you um, and your elders are trying to get through to you, okay? You have the spirit of fire, which is intense, right? Um, and also you can work with the spirit of earth really well. We've got medicine man, medicine woman. Some of you could have been that in a past life or you have the natural ability from a past life here because we've got working with worth, work, working with earth elements, which is that medicine man, earth, natural energy. So there's something here also that serves a calling, answer the calling here. This is something that you're very passionate about. I don't know why we have a trickster energy here. Um, there's been a tricky energy that's possibly been getting in the way of whatever it is that you're calling might be. Um, what is this? What else do we have? Searching info for you online. Um, I think whoever this is that's hiding out right now is, is searching for info for you online. Maybe even looking for you. Maybe they don't know where you are. What the heck? Uh, lockbox feeling trapped yeah somebody feels like they're going to be you know put in the lockbox here that's why they're hiding out what is this message be open to change okay scorpio so whatever change you have coming towards you right now spirit is saying being re be really open to whatever this change is Good, excuse me. I have felt like anytime I'm around somebody for five minutes because of the chemo, like I have a cold. So I'm like a little congested. It sucks, but I can't get used to wearing the mask around my kid, you know, in the house. That's just, that's hard. Some of you have a history or a past here with whoever these energies are. I just saw that. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Um, mm. There's tragedy in a situation. This is in regards to a forbidden love. Um, there's been or will be tragedy in a situation. financial support coming. You've been getting this through the judicial system, some kind of payout through the court system. Something's coming through. I don't, it's going to be shocking maybe for some of you. Uh, maybe this is the answer to the calling. If you get this money, Spirit is saying, do what it is that you want to do with it, right? You've been thinking about, yeah, 
history together, past together. There's somebody here, whoever this is, there's an energy. Somehow you've been connected. Somebody didn't get the message here. Okay, now if you're divinely protected, they didn't get the message. This is what's coming to light. Ace of Wands, whatever it is that you do, this could also be extreme passion, Scorpio. Um, you're very passionate about. Let's pull some tarot energy. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? We've got uh, Cancer Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Hmm. This is somebody that didn't want to work with you. Whoever this is, for some reason, um, they didn't want to work with you. We've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, but um, this person is a perfectionist. Whoever this is, it's like everything they do has to be perfect. Um, there's greed here. Uh, no motivation in regards to, it's like greed, but no motivate. It's like uh, wanting to get things in a way um, that might not necessarily be legal or, um, could be fraudulent. Why do we have the moon card with the eight of pentacles in reverse? Five of wands. Um, this is talking about litigation. And then we've got financial support. It's a five of wands in reverse. So there's chaos that's coming, that's leaving your life, litigation, some kind of legal situation. Again, it's like somebody's going into hiding. Something's being uncovered with the moon card. Um, and there's financial support. Maybe somebody's already in trouble and they're running from the law here in this situation. Yeah, tragedy here. In a sexual situation, somehow you were tied up in this energy with this energy sexually I feel like the magician yeah it was a manipulation tactic somebody could have paid somebody here to come in what the fuck oh, excuse my language it's too early what the heck since then though with the six of swords you've moved away from chaos Scorpio um this could be involving, we've got mercury air energy. So we've just gone through mercury retrograde. We're currently ending the cycle, right? Um, with the magician here too, with the six of swords, you're kind of whatever chaos here that was stirred up here could have been word magic. I'm getting a lot of manipulation with the mouth. That's still magic. You know, which is funny. Some people are like, I'm such a, I'm, I'm a Christian. I, I would never engage in spell work or black magic, right? But if you're going around saying things that aren't true about people and, uh, you know, what is it? Strangulation, uh, destroying people's lives, characters, uh, speaking ill will on someone, that's magic. Um, there's a situation here where there was a lot of talk here is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm seeing mouths here, like, you know, uh, somebody had a powerful skill when it came to the mouth. <laughs> that sounds funny, but like when, you know, uh, word magic, the six of swords here. Now, um, maybe you've caught on and you've really, uh, learned how to protect your energy here in regards to whatever that might be. Uh, but you do have, you know, the six of swords, which is good. It's representing you moving towards change. Um, with the eight of swords, yeah, you're not in reverse. Um, restricted anymore. If you were restricted by some form of magic or some form of manipulation, there is no more restriction. Um, there needs to be a guilt release for why ever you were related to this, this whole darn situation. I feel like it really, you know, it was something that you couldn't have avoided. It was like you were targeted here in a situation, but there's some kind of guilt that you're still holding. I feel like spirit is telling you to release. Um, and there's so many scammers out now. This could even be some type of romance scammer, you know, uh, energy thing going on with the ace of wands coming out here and my stomach is feeling so ugh. 
oh, as soon as I'm saying that, yeah, protection, okay, we've got temperance energy, which is basically divine protection. Um, bringing balance back into your life with the Six of Swords energy. Seven of Wands, protecting your energy when you feel challenged or when you felt challenged here. Um, and standing up for yourself, which is, I feel like it looks like what you've done here. It's interesting that we have energy that's hiding. The hangman. Somebody got themselves hung up in a situation they can't get out of. And there's no way. There's just no way. They're hiding because there's no way they can even get out of it. And that's the truth with the moon card. Wow. Things coming to light. That's confirmation. That's the second time we've seen that. So yeah, a lot of things are coming to light. Whatever these moon cycles, these retrogrades, it's like uh, the universe is like, here it is. Here's a bit of truth. Here's a little nugget. Here's a little receipt. Here's a little something like things are just coming, like rising. Could even be like rising up to the shore on the beach somewhere, like evidence here. Yeah, this is, uh, you're being blessed, Scorpio. Whatever it is that was, uh, whatever it is that you were dealing with in the situation here, again, you do have blessings coming your way, some type of financial support. You know, I have been getting the energy lately, yeah, Nine of Pentacles it had to do with your financial stability. Um, somebody could have been causing, to, trying to cause distractions here in regards to your financial stability because Wheel of Fortune here, Two of Swords. Um... You ended the cycle. Now somebody else is at a crossroads because I don't feel like they expected you to end this cycle and you did anyway. Um, you figured something out here. Seven of Pentacles, what you were investing your time in and the tower and what happened. It could be involving another Scorpio energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What other messages do we have for Scorpio coming out? be careful especially meeting people online these days because mm. I feel like you were targeted whoever this is and you were targeted online maybe not initially but recently there's a divine masculine here um, who is returning. They want a second chance. They know they made mistakes. Okay, I don't know if this has to do with this situation, uh, but they're talking about commitment. If they weren't ready to commit, to commit before, now this person is, please tell me they have nothing to do with this situation um, because Three of Cups is telling me, yes, it, they do. They know they made a mistake here. There's a community. Um, Whatever this community is, King of Cups energy. There was some kind of collaboration. They realized they made a mistake. They're looking out to the moon here. Also what they're seeing coming to light. This person could have also been some type of a divine masculine that could have got caught up in some kind of a web here. You know what I'm getting? Because there's something here almost like I feel like somebody was getting hacked where somebody was like able to read your messages, emails, um, things of that nature, possibly for some of you, if that might be resonating. You do have the King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, somebody wanting to come back and give you what you deserve. Um, I just don't like this tricky energy associated to it. Why do we have this tricky energy associated with this person? How did they get wrapped up with this friend group? What is this energy for Scorpio? They don't even want you to know that they're wrapped up with this friend group or to ever, ever come out. 
because the card flew out and flipped over. All right, so Knight of Cups could be a younger water sign. Energy doesn't necessarily have to be. Romantic interest. There was a romantic interest that was involved in this friend group. Five of Wands, that was your competition with this person. Or wanted to create chaos, wanted to create chaos with you. Um, their romantic interest in this friend group had an interest in creating chaos with you. There was a payout here. And now there's a loss, Five of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Somebody's looking at options they have right now to redirect their energy fix. Yeah, whatever's going on, somebody seriously regrets it. Five of Cups energy, they're very emotional in their feelings about whatever happened here. Um, they've been given wisdom too here, right? The hangman. It's like somebody hung themselves in a situation. Somebody was used and they understand why they were used here. With the Ten of Pentacles, it was about money. It could be inheritance money. Uh, money, a large amount of money when the Ten of Pentacles comes out or could be about a marriage. Um, again, with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, you have options. You realize you have options. Even just shifting the timeline. I feel like that's what you did. You were like, nope, <laughs> I'm shifting this timeline. Whatever the fuck is going on here, I feel it. Um... It's giving me vibes like somehow, somehow somebody got access to a divine masculine in your life and tricked him like a romantic and like tricked him into feeling like they had, uh, they said they had romantic feelings for this person or tricked him romantically in some type of way. Could have been a baby trap, could have been impregnant. There's some kind of conflict competing energy that was like, I'm going to win at all costs here. Jesus, Scorpio. This person is going through hell. I should have fought for you. Yeah, they're like, they're seeing things now here. I'm in a situation and they're like, maybe you told them or warned them about something here. Yeah, even ma manipulative energy, magic. Somebody could have been doing spell work here. You could have warned somebody and they didn't listen. I should have fought for you. Your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. They will never compare to you. So it's like somebody got themselves in a whole world of shit here. I'm caught up in a, a karmic relationship. Seduction was a downfall. There's the Ace of Wands. All right. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Black magic. Right on top of the magician. This person got caught up in a group that was actually working on you spiritually or trying to attack you spiritually. And they use this person to attack you spiritually, whether they know it or not. Maybe they're figuring it out. Maybe even through spell work. Maybe this person is easily manipulated through spell work. Um, I adore your smile. Yeah, this person is looking at pictures of you. Like maybe they're coming out of some kind of been getting brain fog. Like coming out of an energy of like, what did it, I should have fought for you. What happened? This is a divine masculine that somehow shit got really like, <sighs> you can slow a situation down with divine, but you can't end it. And that's what people forget here, especially dealing with divine masculines and divine feminines in situation. Sometimes it's like you need to do your research on who you're fucking with anyway. Because I feel like these people didn't know who they were fucking with, period. Or, you know, didn't want to believe it. Three of Wands, they thought they were free. Free from any repercussions. 
they felt like uh, whatever it is that they were doing, for some reason you deserved it, Scorpio. But um, I love you and I hate you at the same time. Somebody's getting super car big karma. There's something else. I see you differently, karma. Yeah, somebody's seeing who you are, how protected you are. Um, This is block communication and risky sex. So block communication with anybody right now where there's risky sex. Um, this person could be running anyway, but Spirit is saying the sex is risky with that person anyway. Let's put energy on that card. This person's like, I've been manifesting you with risky sex, trying to get, oh my God, manifest you through risky sex. I want to treat you the way that you deserve. Um, you got it backwards, son. Whoever this is, ma'am, that's not the way you do it. <laughs> they are trying to, I wish you were here with me. So it's like, they're even like trying to manifest you through sex with someone else, which is fucked up and weird. Um... What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Intuition, inner knowing. Trust your intuition right now. You've been heartbroken, okay? So again, with this energy, it's like, okay, you got your guard up, I get it, right? Trust your intuition. You do have a commitment coming your way that um, <laughs> here's this person from the past still missing you. Let's clarify, what is this commitment energy? What is this commitment energy? Mm. For some of you, it's an offer that you don't need to take. There's a devil. Somebody coming in. Trust your intuition um, with the page of wands. These messages, sexual messages, sexting, texting, whatever. Uh, lusty energy. There's devil energy here connected to this. Still, somebody's still going through the dark night of the soul. Five of Cups in depression. Um, Four of Pentacles. This is about financial stability. King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be an Aquarius, uh, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, what else can you tell us about that energy with the Four of Pentacles? The Eight of Cups. Spirit saying, walk away. Okay, walk away. Somebody's looking at you like a paycheck in some way, shape, or form. Uh, whoever you are, Spirit is saying, walk away. With the Four of Pentacles, there's some type of financial stability this person's hoping to get with this offer. And look, with the Six of Wands over here, it was hidden. It's like Aries Leo Sag. There's a situation here where... Um, you're going to be getting good news. Nine of Cups. Wishes being granted here um, with the Moon card, right? So things coming to light, but I feel like this is actually going to help shift the trajectory of the path that you're now taking and moving forward, okay, Scorpio? Because I feel like, again, with the Six of Swords, it's all, you're already in the process of moving away from all this chaos or have already. Um you're going to have the opportunity here, whatever you've been investing in with the Seven of Pentacles, to really um, answer the calling, whatever it is that you've been called to do here at this time. Temperance energy, divine protection. Again, it's like, oh, blessings, blessings and blessings on blessings on blessings. It's like somebody did not realize how protected you were. Maybe it's somebody is literally hiding because they're that scared. Just, just because of the black magic. It might not even be a legal thing. It could be I'm hiding because I'm that scared. Like if I get in my car, am I going to get in an accident? Or it's like the, it's, somebody's worried about the karma connected to fucking with you. It could be a king of pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that threw a lot of black magic at you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But you also have the ability to calm anger in anyone as well. 
So it's almost like these people come at you and in, in your presence, it's like there's no way. Maybe they've sent people to hurt you and it's like you charm them. That's what I'm getting. I feel like there's even been like a hit man, literally. This is a fucked up reading that's been sent to you that literally either fell in love with you or was like, you're an angel. You're an earth angel. This, this person is so, um, if they are, if they do that for a living, um, your light They knew what they would be hurting here and the repercussions in their life in regards to this energy. This energy also gave you, there could have been an energy, whoever this is I'm talking about, um, keys to free yourself. Like they fell in love with you. They gave you the keys to free yourself in some, whether it was knowledge, which is now the timeline that you're on now. The death card, Scorpio transformation. You've transmuted all this energy. Queen of Wands with your divine gift. Damn, Scorpio. There's going to be uh, a lot of negative energy that was around situations in regards to your love life because of some type of hacking and um, abuse of control and watching and monitoring monitoring that is that is I think actually under investigation um, and is going to be removing negative energy from your life and love life all right I hope this message was helpful I'm gonna try to get some other messages out this was an intense one but you know spirit woke me up early because this had to get out. I love you guys. I hope this gets to who it needs to get to. Bye.